I'm just, I, I don't, I'm not on Shitter very much anymore, but I, I jumped on there um, because I've been increasingly aggravated that Jim Jordan has been repeating this four talking points thing. He's, he's been pushing this, there's four things. He was on the, Hunter Biden was on the board of Burisma. He was unqualified to be there. They asked for a favor and Joe Biden did it. That's what he's selling. That's horse shit. It's a, it's a provable lie. It's embarrassingly lame. This document alone does it. This is a, uh, the, this is the president's agenda, the vice president and now president, but then, then vice president's agenda when he was going to Ukraine in December, they were, they planned these things ahead of time. Unlike the, you know, the Republicans, the fucking Trump administration where they're like, what, fuck, what time's my homework due? Shit. The, the Biden administration and, uh, the Obama Biden administration, both plan ahead. They, they go, well, in a couple months, we're going to have this thing and we've got this big meeting coming up. We should prep for that. You know, they do the actual homework, especially since they'd already doled out $2 billion in uh, loan guarantees and they were coming around for the the third round of it. And while Ukraine at the time under uh, Petro Poroshenko had been meeting some, most of the, the check marks had been, you know, as far as anti-corruption stuff, he had clearly not done a couple of things. And they were like, this has got to happen before the next money comes. And, and we got to press for that. And so Biden on the plane just said, I think I can get him to do it. Let's just fucking pull the fucking cord. And uh, and he did. And he bragged about it at the CFR. And everybody acts like his talking about it on stage at the Council on Foreign Relations is actually some like hot mic situation where he didn't know he was being recorded on a stage in front of a bunch of people during a Q&A. It's just dumb. Anyways, so I posted this this morning. Um, I was really actually attempting at first, only to do the little emoji right there. But because I, on my phone, I used stickers, it just put that on screen and I was like, I'll leave it. <laughs> um, this is the document that I've shown you guys. And I, I was worried that if I just posted the page, they wouldn't quite notice. So I made, <laughs> I made a couple of minor uh, accents, I guess. To it? Is that what was that? Yeah, that's the way it went. Uh, first of all, the giant orange arrow pointing at the fact that it's November 22nd, 2015. November 22nd, 2015. November 22nd, 2015. So every time Jim Jordan or Jamie Comer comes out and says December 5th and phone call December 6th, five days later, Biden goes to Ukraine, which is the 7th and the 8th, a, pl a, a trip they had already planned. See this December 7th, 8th right here? Vice President Biden's meeting with Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko, December 7, 8. This is the this is the notes on it from November. Already decided. Already decided. November 22nd. Uh, if anything, and we'll get to this in a second. If anything, uh, they're proving my point, which we'll get to in a second. But this is the primary one. I've shown you guys this. I don't want to belabor the the entire thing. But the primary sentence here is uh, they're talking about reforms, especially overhauls of the prosecutor general's office, including removal of prosecutor general Shokin, who was widely regarded as an obstacle to fighting corruption, period. That was primary. That It was listed specifically, that dude, that job, gotta go, fuck him. November 22nd, 2015, already decided. That's, uh, I, I don't, I mean, it, that's cut dry as you need. These are, this is the, uh, the department, uh, the state department's outline of what the trip's going to be about, uh, in coordination with the entire administration and maggots. I would, I know we've got some maggots in the chat room. We're getting, we're growing, uh, exponentially, especially the afternoon show. Holy shit. We had like 3000 plus, um, Looks like a plastic surgeon's markup. That's right. That's where they're getting their, uh, this is where you get your bullshit tuck. Um, but uh, maggots, I, I I know if there are a couple of uh, you in here, explain yourself. This is real easy. The, Jim Jordan says the phone call on December 5th in, from Dubai, Hunter calling his dad to get, was to get Shokin fired. We now know Right? We now know that was already decided in November. 
before Thanksgiving, they had already made this. Is it? Yeah, not for public release. Well, it was sensitive, uh, but unclassified at the time. Uh, they have uh, John Solomon who from Just the News, which is the you know the right wing repository for a lot of this shit. Um, a suppository for this shit uh, posted it on his site. So he thought this made his case, which you've got to be magically fucking stupid uh, to put that. As a matter of fact, I copied the file as a PDF and saved it to my hard drive in case they wake up to the fact that this eats their entire sh fucking case. Which it will. So, anyways, maggots, explain to me well, I'd love to see you. I know you're in the chat room. You're probably, uh, there's a couple of YouTubers, maybe Facebook. I don't know. Um, explain how the phone call on December 5th changed Joe Biden's mind about getting rid of this guy when they had already made it a priority in November. Just, I'm waiting. Any time. Any fucking time. And why the, the State Department and everybody was signed off specifically on getting rid of that dude. While, by the way, uh, congratulating Ukraine as a government compared to under uh, Yanukovych, them improving under Petro Poroshenko and going, yeah, they're meeting these marks, but they're not quite there yet. And we've got a lot to do. And what we want him to do is come out and talk about corruption, specifically fight it, and set up an organization where all their publicly held companies are uh, their all their economics are online where people can look at them. This was this was what the Obama-Biden administration was insisting on Ukraine to do to get our taxpayer money to help them. We, if you're going to have these public traded companies or these uh, public owned companies, which is part of what Burisma and stuff was at the time, then all that funding has to be shown online so people can check the books themselves, especially the American taxpayer if we wanted to look and go, hey, where are our... Where's our money and our loan guarantees or anybody from the IMF? They want to know where this money is being spent. All of it's online. They wanted to set up a, a system. And you know what? They fucking did. So this is it, it, the entire uh, Dubai phone call to get Shogun fired. Five days later, traveled to Dubai and, uh, and got the son of a bitch fired. And, and that's because it was his job at Burisma and he was protecting his son or they were getting paid. All that's horseshit. This in and of itself proves that's horseshit. On top of that, they were aware that this was becoming a priority. Petro Poroshenko was bitching about it at the time, even though he now regards Shokin as an insane person. At the time in his transition, he was like, you know, the devil you know is better than the devil you don't. So, well, I'll, you know, I'll make do for a while. And, and uh, Shokin's his fucking, uh, like, Poroshenko is Shokin's kid's godfather or vice versa. Anyways, they, they're, you know, this kind of, like, lapped up corruption is pretty common in Eastern Europe and, and certainly was throughout there when the Russians were running things. All right? Um, and, uh, yeah. So, uh, they, yeah, they, so they had already made this decision, but here's the thing. They were aware that this was a priority. The the rumble around DC was Shokin's got to go. The rumble around Ukraine was Shokin's got to go. But at that point, Zlochevsky, if anything, wanted Shokin to stay. He wanted to keep him there because he had him. Uh, they you know they had an agreement. He was paying him to keep this investigation from moving forward. And and they you know again the devil you know better than the devil you don't. And if you get rid of this fucking guy, the guy they're going to replace him with is definitely going to be more anti-corruption than Shokin is, period. So they they weren't trying to get him fired. They were trying to get him to, to make sure he kept his fucking job. Got it? Slavchevsky wanted Shokin to stay. Because he knew his price and he was paying it. That's it. I'm just explaining this so that I can clip this later and we can post this for anybody who believes this stupid four-point lie from Jim Jordan and James Comer because it's all garbage. And I, uh, it just couldn't even be easier. It's just that fucking simple. In deference to, of course, Jim Jordan and uh, James Comer and 
Byron Donalds and all the other fucking idiots on the uh, on on this uh, impeachment inquiry group. Um, it that's it. That's all you need to know. Slavchevsky was trying to keep Shokin in the job because he had him on a short leash. He knew what his price was and he was willing to pay it. After they scuttled the investigation that was already ham-handed and wouldn't have gone anywhere because Shokin made sure, and then they started a new one and Slavchevsky had to flee the fucking country. He's now a, a citizen of Cyprus and nobody's seen him in years. So, just clarifying that for anybody and and I... I the, and. When this clip goes out to our dear friends in the media who I will send this to, stop it. Stop. You have this document. This actually exists. It completely undermines this bullshit, silly talking point. It's a farce. Stop. It's like the 1997 uh, Russia NATO founding agreement. It under it destroy which destroys the entire. We had to invade Ukraine because NATO expansion. Buzz off. You're welcome. Like, subscribe, give a thumbs up, support the show. We're almost we're at like fifty six seven. We're almost at fifty seven k. We're getting there. And real people, I might add, not uh, not these uh, dummies that you sometimes see. Just I'm just. Saying, anyways, hi, chat room. By the way, you guys are wonderful. Good to see you this morning. How are you? Um, um, again, much love to the family of Anita Blake. We lost her yesterday, and uh, if, if you weren't around, um, she's a regular in our chat room and, uh, and a lovely person. And she passed away yesterday, and so just want to send some more love out to her and her family. You know, her spirit and wherever it finds itself. Um, yeah. How do I subscribe? Well, uh, Nancy, thanks for asking. First of all, you can follow on the Facebook page because that's where you are. But you can also just go to infotainmentwars.com, which will take you to the YouTube page and you can subscribe there. Yeah. Does that work? Does that help? Okay. Uh, that said, okay, lots, uh, lots more to cover today. Besides the fact that I've just burned down the weakest lie that they are posing. Anyways, I also posted that on Shitter in a couple of forms. Um, and, um, just for the record and whoops, let me open this guy up. Hold on a second. Open up the silly thing. Um, I, uh, I posted that on shitter. If you guys want to re shit it, um, to everybody and especially tag people in the press with it. If you would somebody, you know, on a show, like I did, I, I did Randy Rhodes and I did uh, Tom Hartman and Stephanie Miller so that they would have access not only to that little, you know, cartoonish version of the document, but I also linked the entire document in the next tweet. So any pushback? None. None. Zero. Because, I mean, I don't know, honest to God, I have no idea how they would. Seriously, what are you going to push back on? The, the fact that November is, is it in 2015, did November come after December that one year? Is that how it worked? 